Ideally, who would this device be best suited for? Well, students, because it's so transportable, collapsible, throw it in a bag, move it from class to class. So that could be high school, college, and definitely the professional. Someone going in and out of boardrooms, traveling. Uh, somebody that maybe doesn't just sit at a workstation that moves around a little bit of work and wants magnification and speech wherever they go. Awesome. All right. It sounds great. So let's set up. We'll do a demo and then we'll come back and have fun. Have fun. <laughs> All right. So here is the MagnaLink tab, the device that folds up, battery operated, transportable, has a three camera system in it. As you see here, I have a camera on an arm that completely rotates and moves all around the device and allows you to do distance viewing by rotating or look down at your paper. Great for in the classroom, the boardroom, seeing what's going on in the classroom or in the boardroom. You want to see what's going on in the distance. You maybe want to record as a presentation. You could take some video recording. You could take snapshots for note taking or for future studying at home. This is a Microsoft Surface Pro running in the stand. And, and this will has three camera systems. So I have an external camera and I have cameras built in. Switching cameras, four fingers, pull, pull, each camera switches and pull. And as you can see, I have this connected via the display port to a large monitor behind me. Obviously this is the package, but you have the ability to plug it into any type of screen that you would like to. What I want to do with this is magnify or OCR. OCR, which is text-to-speech, which will take a picture of any printed material I have and read it back to me. I can then take that material, I can save it, I can read it at a later time, I can move it over to another software program like Word and um, then manipulate it, edit it, and then email it out, do whatever. So it has so many functions built in because this is a Windows operating system behind this machine. So what can I do? It's gesture based. We have a keyboard if you'd like to have a Bluetooth keyboard or you can run it by, you see the bar of buttons on the bottom. So each of these are touch screen. I'm gonna just remove them for now by double tapping twice on the screen and they disappear and it gives me a little more real estate. I'm gonna show you how to magnify. I would just pinch and zoom. If I wanted to change the contrast for reading, I would just pull down on the screen and once I find the one I like, I can stop there and start manipulating it by magnification. I can pinch there if I like this one. If it didn't look good, I could change the brightness by by uh, moving left and right and up and down. Now, if I want to jump right back to color two fingers, I'm back to my color mode. So, and then I go right back to where I like to read and back to color. So it's very productive, it's quick. So now that I, I, I have my best reading, my magnification, I can jump around and read and switch modes and really get the most out of it. But here's what's also is good. I can, this arm, I can move this way down. So I could sit with a keyboard in front of it. I could take five fingers, push on here and pull it. Now I have my desktop of my Windows computer system open. So I could have maybe Word or any type of note taking going on at the same time while I'm using my distance camera in whatever environment I'm in. Or I could be using Google Classroom. I could be looking at a smart board on one side, taking notes. It's just very flexible because it's running on a Windows 10 operating system. I want to get back in full screen, five fingers on, I'm back in. Now, I want to take it to another level and I want to do some OCR. Well, I'm going to turn this and I'm just going to grab a little of this by taking my finger, pressing on the screen, removing it. It is now there. Based on a Microsoft Surface Pro with 12,3 screen gives the user a complete mobile solution for both anal. So, here we go. I can now manipulate this to follow along. I can magnify the print down here, bigger if I'd like, or I can go up here. I can change to different contrasts. I can change, I can take this and magnify the picture. I can magnify just text. I can switch it over to, so as I was saying, I can now take this and I can move it to a sentence, a word, the document, print underneath, 
just what I scanned. I can then magnify this down. I can move it around and then I can uh, change the contrast. If it doesn't look good, I can then change the brightness. I can tap to go back to color. So it's extremely customizable for the need of whoever might be using this device. And then I can jump right back into live mode. And now I'm back using this camera, the camera that I could easily rotate around and get this, uh, get my uh, distance viewing set up. It's on a flexible arm. So depending on the environment and the amount of room I have, I can customize this. Mm -hmm. So let me show you another real cool thing is, is when it's time to go. Now, normally when you're out and about, you don't have a display set up going on an external display. So I'm going to unplug that for a quick second. And I'm going to show you how simple this device is. And that's it. It's folded up and ready to go. I have a nice bag that comes, with, comes with these that fits all molded in, protects everything in here. And I just take this out and I lay this in the bag. And then I take my, my device, which has a built-in handle. I can keep it out of the bag and just move around from class to class or places. It's all protected on each side, so I don't scratch it or damage the surface. And, and then when I'm ready to go, I open it up, and here we go. Back up and running again. All right, as I mentioned, this device could be run by a wireless, any type of Bluetooth keyboard. Um, this and you just pair it to it there's no cables needed and again it has OCR OCR can be performed from this camera from this camera underneath or even the forward-facing camera side. so it's easy to switch between each camera just by a gesture four fingers move it from one camera to the next as you see it keeps rotating right now I have the camera that's built into the surface but this camera, if I don't want to use my external camera and I just want to use the device or I'm using this, I can OCR, landscape, portrait, and by pressing my finger on the screen and removing it, it now is taking a picture of this and it will read it back to me. Tablet solution based on a Microsoft Surface Pro with 12 cup. And then again, I can then change so I can see the print. I can see the one line. I can change that. I can magnify it, I can reduce it. So it's just so customizable and it's fitting the needs of each individual. Personally, I like listening more than following along, but some people like to follow along and listen. It's a bimodal, it sinks in better. They can study and learn better that way. It all depends on the needs of each person that uses it. This camera here is plugged in through the USB port. So it doesn't require, it doesn't need to be charged. It takes the power from the surface system. There's only one charging cable on the device. It's magnetically connected. So if you did walk by it and bump it, it would pull out of the unit. It's not going to yank the whole machine off the table. And it's very discreet. Again, having it running Windows at the same time by just grabbing here and jumping over. And then I can then move my, my box around and decide where I'd like that and then open up something else. Being a complete Windows 10 operating system, you can go ahead and add movies on here. You could put your music on here. You could run full office suite on here. You can install your favorite accessibility type of uh, software, whether it's a magnification platform or a speech platform. Whatever you can do on a regular laptop, desktop Windows operating machine, you can do on the Surface Pro because it's running the same thing. Underneath the Surface Pro kickstand, there's a micro SD slot that you can put another 512 gigabytes of storage right on this unit. So this is also a daily driver for a lot of people. It's not an extension. It's not like a, a normal tablet. It's a true computer system that once you get home from wherever you might be, you can plug in like I've done and you could turn it into like a full operating desktop machine that has all your magnification, your OCR, all built in along with all your daily productivity tools on top of that.
Okay, so that is the MagnaLink tab from LVI. Thank you very much, Charlie, for showing us what it can do. So if anybody is interested in this, how can they get it or get a hold of you guys? What's all the, the contact? Well, the contact is lviamerica.com. You can jump on our website, 888-781-7811 is in our 800 number that you could call in and get uh, directed to somebody. But but I think best is just to go to the website. We have an email you can click on. You can, the phone number's listed there. You'll see an other video and a description about the, the tab on that page. So that'd be the best way to get in touch with us. And Sam, thank you so much for coming out and uh, helping out with this and, uh, you know, helping bring more awareness to some really good tools to help people succeed in life with low vision. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's great. Um, I'm sure on there they'll be able to get like pricing information and all that on the yes. website as well. So. And, and, and all the specs. You want to know different specs and the Core i5s and the RAMs and batteries and all that. I mean, I didn't want to get too technical now, but yeah. I believe you, you can go and get all that information on our website for sure. That's perfect. All right, and of course, I'll have the links and everything down in the description below. But once again, Charlie, thank you very much. If you guys have any questions uh, about anything in general, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions about this, like Charlie said, give them a call. Check out the website. I'm sure they're going to be happy to help. Yes. Um, and that's it. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching Sam and Charlie with The Blind Life. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So, Charlie, thank you very much for having me out, man. I appreciate it. Who was that supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, you, okay. you, you can say, sure, no problem, Sam. <laughs> okay, got it. That'll be in the bloopers. Okay. <laughs>